What's up guys, it's Carter and I'm back with another video. I uh, kind of want to go over the Juggernaut AI program, at least the end part of it and the mock meet that I did the other day. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, uh, you'll have already seen that I've, I did my mock meet and you know the results of that. But on this video, I kind of wanted to get a little more in depth, uh, kind of go over why I chose the weights I did, how it was feeling, and um, just go a little over more in depth. I did the peaking phase, uh, that was a four week block. Um, the first two weeks looked a lot like my other uh, programming, except we we're kind of getting uh, more strength work, uh, lower reps, uh, higher intensity, uh, cutting off some of the volume. And then the last uh, final two weeks, which they called the final phase, that first week, um, they really tapered off the volume and a lot of the workload. Um, some of the intensity, but I was working out more often. So less rest days and just kind of, I guess, getting my work capacity up or keeping it up while tapering off some of that volume and intensity so I could kind of rest up and get ready to really push some uh, heavy weights. So um, Saturday was my meet day. Um, wasn't feeling the best. I know, I know you don't generally feel great going into meets a lot of times, um, but uh, my shoulder was feeling a lot better, so I was happy about that. I could actually bench with my regular competition uh, with grip, which was nice, but uh, my low back has not been feeling great ever since I uh, hit that deadlift in the uh, garage gym competition uh, about a month ago. I kind of tweaked my back a little bit, and while it wasn't like a major Injury didn't set me back too much. It's just kind of been nagging a little bit and then hitting a lot of these heavier weights has kind of kept it inflamed. I've uh, been trying to manage it the best I can, but it wasn't feeling great going into this. So uh, surprisingly though, squat has been feeling pretty good, which was something that usually bothers it a lot uh, on the left side, but it's feeling pretty good about squat. Deadlift, however, wasn't feeling awesome about, but so we start off with squat. My first attempt, I wanted something pretty easy and kind of gauge where I was at. So I went for a 315 using the SSB because um, the SS, you know, my shoulder, like I said, it was feeling better for bench, but I still haven't been able to get on a straight bar. Um, it's feeling pretty crappy. So that's something I got to work on next. But uh, for this, I had been going with SSB for my competition style squat for most of this program, so I just stuck with it for the mock meet. Uh, so like I said, 315 uh, moved well, felt pretty good. So then uh, for the second squat, I kind of made a bigger jump than I think I probably should. I probably should have went to about like 350 or something. Uh, my last PR in the garage gym competition was 365, which is a five pound or a 360, I believe, which was an all-time uh, PR for me. Uh, so I was happy about that, so I wanted to at least beat that. Um, I hit a 370 in my training a couple weeks ago, so I, I just went for 370 uh, just to kind of match that because um, I felt pretty good about it. And that moved decent when I hit it in training and I felt like it maybe had 10 more pounds. So I went ahead and went for the 370. It moved pretty well for the most part. Um, so. I felt like I had more for the third one, but I got a little greedy. I think I had about 385 or 390, and then I was like, oh, what the hell? Let me just bump it up to a 400 and see if I can crack 400 pounds for the first time. And that didn't go so well. Um, felt good out of the hole, but man, I hit a wall really quick. And you know how that SSB goes. It kind of just folds you over. Um, if you're not able to keep that thing upright. So that's what happened on that one. Didn't feel great about that uh, going into my bench press, you know, psychologically, it just kind of messed me up a little bit, but still hit a 370, which was five pounds more or 10 pounds more than my, um, than a month ago. So felt good about that. So went on to bench, kind of warmed up a little bit, went for a 275. Off the break, I thought I was doing 285 for some reason. It was only 275. Um, but that moved really well, felt good. Um, so I went ahead and went for the 315, which I hit with a closer grip in the garage gym comp competition. 
And uh, that moved pretty well, surprisingly. Um, was feeling really good with bench for that one. Uh, really didn't do any benching this last week in the tapering phase. I was kind of wondering about that, like, am I going to do any bench work? But it really didn't program anything. So I just trusted the program, went with it. Bench felt really good. So I decided to go up, and I was kind of in a spot where I didn't want to get stuck in the same situation as I did with the squat and go up too much and fail it. And then uh, not PR, but I said, what the hell? So I went for it. I went for a 335. I was going to only go for a 325 because I felt like that's what I had. But I said, let's let's push the envelope and see what we got. And this one was grindy. I fought through this mid-range uh, point really hard. And uh, I was really proud of that bench as a 20 pound PR for me from a month ago. Like I said, a month ago, it was a little bit of a closer grip, but uh, really happy with that. Uh, sorry guys, I'm looking down at my phone because <laughs> I got all my notes and the videos there. But um, so it felt really good. It was amped up after that bench press. So we moved on to deadlift and deadlift, like I said, hasn't been going great the past month. Um, in the tapering phase, I hit a top set of like a 435 when I hit a 455 in the garage gym competition and that 435 felt like crap. So like I said, low back bothering me a little bit. Started off with a 405. That moved pretty well. Um, wasn't feeling too bad. Followed up with a 440. Um, and that moved really slow and kind of scoop my knees into the bar like that. I, I was pretty ugly deadlift. I didn't think, really didn't feel like I had much more than the 440. So kind of just went for the uh, 455 PR, just matched that, what I did. However, it was just, it was not there. Um, it just barely broke off the ground. So, you know, that's likely I need to hit quads more. Um, that's nothing I didn't know. Um, it's it's a weak point for me. My deadlifts coming off the ground are always crap. I, I wish I could get a little more force off the ground, but um, something I got to work on this next block. But overall, I'm overall I'm really happy with how things have gone for this program. I started the Juggernaut AI program back when my daughter was born, late November. Um, so I started like probably first week of December. So I was going on seven months here, and. Uh, I'm like really happy with it. I chose a power building split. Um, so 70% bodybuilding, 30% power lifting. And uh, the idea behind that was I didn't want to be hitting a lot of deadlifts and squats with my low back issues. Um, I wanted to hit enough to get better at them and stronger. But uh, I also felt like I just needed to, well, first of all, manage that fatigue with the low back and everything, but also just thicken up. I was about 205. I just really felt like I needed to put on some more muscle. Um, so right now I was up to, I've been floating around 220 for the last month or so and uh, kind of recomping at that weight and uh, feeling really good um, with how everything went. I put a lot of muscle on my chest. Chest got a lot stronger uh, for bench. I built up my glutes quite a bit from all the uh, RDLs and reverse hypers and uh, hamstrings too. And then I put a lot of size on my back as well. All those seal rows, I was just hammering seal rows, I think the entire program. My back got a lot wider and a lot stronger. Um, but uh, like I said, overall, really happy with the program. I think I'm gonna go ahead and continue using the program, probably do a bridge block into this next one, probably shift the focus a little more towards powerlifting um, and kind of ease in. Um, like I said, still managing the back thing, but I think I can handle a little bit more. Uh, might fool around with a little sumo uh, deadlift, um, something that I'm not good at and I want to get better at. And uh, might be something good for me as far as competition goes. If I can get good at the sumo, get that deadlift up, my bench is already pretty good. Uh, I think the sumo would feed the squat a little bit better, maybe get the squat up as well. And then maybe start having some respectable numbers in the deadlift and squat department to uh, 
match my bench. So, um, like I said, really happy with how things go or how things have been going. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comments. And I uh, appreciate you guys watching and following along as always. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.